Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo, and today we'll be playing with the brand new photo editor. So just the other day, I noticed that there was an update for the photo editor. I got it updated, took a screenshot, and it mentioned all of these four things here. So with inside of the photo editor, you go into the object eraser, and then it gives you the option to do shadow eraser and reflection eraser. So both of these here are new inside of object eraser, which again is inside of photo editor. So I just wanted to show you guys some examples of what you're able to do with those new features. Now, if you don't know where to go to update your Samsung Galaxy apps, you just wanna go inside of the Galaxy Store sitting right here. On the bottom right-hand side, hit on Menu, and then right up over here, this is where you see updates. So even as of this morning, there's a few updates that I'd be able to do. Uh, so Device Care, Zoom, KuCoin, Fandango, Black Slim Fit Suit Pants. So this would be for that AR zone. So really in terms of what our Samsung applications will be this right here for the AR zone and then Device Care. So I'm gonna take a look at that one a little bit later, but that was the screen where you would be able to find if you have an update for the photo editor. Uh, or what you can do is you can go inside of your album bottom right hand side and go inside of your settings and then you can go all the way down and go to about gallery this is another location you can see if there is an update if there is it'll actually let you know right here so let's go inside of the gallery so we can test out those brand new features so we're going to take a look at reflection we'll take a look at shadows so i have this one here it's specifically a shadow of me i'm very curious on how well it performs uh, so all you want to do is hit on this little edit button then on the bottom right hand side, you're going to see three little dots. These three little dots will give you object eraser. Now, originally object eraser was used to delete an object, delete a person if they're in the background. Uh, so you simply just tap on that object or whatever, and then you're able to get them erased. So here are those two new options, erase shadows, erase reflection. So let's see how it does with a straight up hardcore shadow sitting right there on the screen. So you can see, you know, it's trying to get rid of it. You can go back and forth just to see how well it's, it does. So there's kind of, you know, three layers of my shadow. So there's the, the one, two, three, or at least three different ones, uh, if you kind of look at it. So it does a pretty good job getting rid of the, the, the main majority one, which is this darker shadow sitting right there. So if this is something that you like, then you can now actually hit on done, and this is the end result. But I'm just gonna go back and forth with these arrows just so you can see how well they are performing. Now, uh, we played around with that little shadow option, so now let's go into just a regular photo that you maybe took, you know, that you wanna get rid of some shadows uh, in the image. So let's go with this one right here. So, you know, taking a picture of this little dog collar, uh, there's also, I think, a can right here. So there is, a, you know, a couple shadows sitting there. Let's see how it works with, you know, regular lighting inside you're not trying to do a you know a photo or like a professional shot so let's go with erase shadows so we're looking there and we're looking right here so how well did it do you know what I think it did a pretty good job there's even it's kind of I guess maybe thinking that there's also shadows in the background kind of lighten things up so here you go if you're finished with it you can now hit undone so now you took a picture of a couple things in your house a couple products uh, that are now you know with no shadows but if you like the effect of the shadow then obviously you can keep it in and then let's just test it with one more so you can see that there's a shadow right behind the little dude now sometimes I will have to state that it doesn't really work that well in every single situation so let's see that we want to take a look at this one here so erase shadows so I've played with this one earlier and I don't really know exactly what they are trying to do uh, so it, you know sometimes it's not the best situation or best lighting or the best shadows to get rid of so uh, just keep that in mind when you are playing with this little this little setting and then now to test out the reflections version so here's just a wine bottle and I mean there's technically maybe a reflection off of that so I don't know if they're talking about light reflections or reflections you know like this one sitting here but if you go to object eraser and you try to go with these uh, re, you know erase reflections Reflection. Sometimes it may not pick anything up, so that's also something to keep in mind. Now, there's one that I did play with, which was this one right here. I played with this one for the shadow eraser and reflection eraser. So I'm going to show you what this one looks like with the uh, erase reflections option. So what this one's mostly doing and picking up is that it's picking up the reflections of some of the lights. So some of this light source 
you know, it could be something coming from somewhere that you don't really want. So this one is basically kind of dimming all of that out. So you're going to have this image here, uh, which is the end result of erasing all of the reflections. So again, could be something, you know, reflected. Maybe it's a big building, big window, and the sun is reflecting onto whatever your object is, maybe even yourself. And it's going to take away a lot of that. So maybe it could be a little bit more natural without having all of the, the reflections uh, that are happening around you. Now, another image I want to test this out with is uh, this image here. So there's a little bit of light that's happening up over there. And I think that's what it's really trying to focus on. So if you're, you're you know, sometimes you're taking a picture of something uh, maybe inside your house and there's a whole bunch of light source coming from one area and it kind of brings in that, 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 that really bright light, you know, on, on uh, wherever the corner may be. And it makes the rest of your image not really look that great. So here it is for the erase reflection. So what we're going to do is mostly focus just on the top left corner. So you can see how how um, it barely just took out just a little bit there. So it's not talking about like reflections there, um, but it, I think it's mostly just the light source is what it's really talking about. So if there's light coming off of something else, then it's going to get rid of it. So it actually did a pretty good job in the screen, you know, where it maybe could have thought something over here, but this is actually where the window is sitting. Uh, and I had to take this angle of it. So I was not having my lens, you know, focused really close into where that, that window is. So this right here is able to take away a little bit of that sun reflection um, in order for it to take a little bit better of a photo. So that was pretty much it that I wanted to show off. So you know you go inside of your edit button, bottom right hand side, this is where you go inside of your object eraser. There's those two new features right there, uh, erase reflections, uh, which will basically kind of take away some of the light that may be sitting inside of there. So you can see that it's happening right there. And then also too, uh, erasing the shadows. So if there was any type of shadows that it was able to pick up. And again, sometimes I think the shadow one is the one that you know may not do the best job. So it's thinking that there's a shadow sitting right there and then basically kind of lighting that area up um, trying to match this color sitting right there so uh, it's not the best thing but there we go we have erase shadows and erase reflections what do you guys think of it uh, you were able to do this beforehand just by simply tapping on that object eraser and then you just want to you know tap on if there was a shadow or light or something like that uh, this right here is actually going to erase the entire door so sometimes when you did want to get rid of a reflection or a shadow it actually got rid of this entire object here so maybe that is why they added it in but if there was a shadow on a wall sometimes it can usually get rid of that uh, very similar with that dog collar photo that i showed you from before so let me know what you guys think about the brand new additions inside of object eraser write your comments below the video if you guys appreciated this give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video the more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later <laughs>